What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Yo, everybody. It's your five. So let's get to it. Bring the bang. <laughs> Bring the bang. The monkey. Oh, yeah. That's what it's about to be today, people. That's what it's about to be. Bring the pain. What's up, Minnie? How we doing? Good. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So uh, we're, we're, we're here talking about Loki today. As you can see, I got the cool background. That's not my, my I didn't make that. You know, I, I took that. <laughs> but all respect goes to Marvel Studios and Disney. So that's good. So let's talk about, let's talk about Loki. What do you want to talk about? I made the Tesseract. She made the Tesseract. Yeah, you can see the blue. You can see the blue. Look at it. It's right there. You gotta hold it like this. Tesseracti and oh, look at this. She's got a little holder down there. It's the best we could do. Wait, what? You can't find all these things and everything. So let's get to it. What's up? Mini override. So yeah, you're gonna have to speak up. I don't know how this is gonna, you know, hear you. Stuff like that. So uh well, we're, we're here to talk about Loki. What do you think about the series so far? We got one more show. It's very good. Is it? Yeah, speak up louder. It's very good. Yes, that's <laughs> what we talk about. And yeah, make sure you like look at that when you're talking to it. So what else? What else do we, uh, what else do we, you know, like about Loki and stuff like that? What, what, what it sets it apart from other shows? That it's like, it's like the TVA thing and then like there's a lot of fighting and there's a bunch of variants of Loki. Oh yeah, lots of Loki, huh? There's yeah. even an alligator Loki. Feeling a little crazy. Huh? There's an alligator Loki. Oh, alligator Loki, huh? Yeah, he macho. bit off President Loki's arm. Right? Yeah, he did. Man. That was awesome. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. But hey, you know, so the the show's moving along. You think I'm I'm seeing rumors we don't get Kang in this show at all. What do you think? Well, you know, like the the building and like when he mm-hmm. wakes up at the end of the fourth the cutscene of the fourth episode yeah yeah um the one that looks like stark industries uh-huh um i think they sold it and it says kang on it yeah it does it does i've seen that i've seen that that's right that's right so like right now we're looking at this series doing really well and a lot of people might not be watching it a lot of people might you know there's spoilers. there's that yeah, yeah this is all maybe a little bit of spoilers but that's just a, it's almost like it's a, the marvel cinematic universe has almost become like star wars where there's the book material and then then the expanded universe people can't really take the new movies so that being said whatever we just we just like to watch movies and see what we get and then hey if we read into it we read into it we know it's not perfect or a legit trans you know transcript of it all but we do know we like to watch so what do you think it's going right now what do you think the last step of it? so we we of course know we finished we're up to date we're up to episode five is done. And they had just defeated Elioth, 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 and uh, whatever. They just, you could they call didn't it. Defeat him. They, Sylvie and Loki enchanted him. Yep. So now he's enchanted. I think Loki just learned how to enchant because he didn't know how to because he just did it. I, I think, I think actually who's in the mansion, I think it's Kang and he's passed out because he already had the encounter with Elioth. So, that being said, I think that it's going to work towards that way. And it might not. It might not. They might be hold true, and they might actually keep it, keep it real and wait till what they're saying is Ant-Man and Wasp 3. That's going to be the reveal of Kang. We don't know. But right now, we're so close. I don't understand how you can't give a glimpse or do something. They have one episode to get it. There's probably going to be a little cut scene at the end of the credits. We're all going to have to watch, right? And then we have Black Widow coming out. Will Black Widow provide anything for us? Or is this just a backwards kind of movie? Which I, I, I'm i fine with it being. I'm fine with it being. Right now, I'm so enthralled with the future. I want to know about that, right? Mm-hmm. So what do you? Th- what else do you think from, from the show? What else do you, have you been catching? That there's a Thanos helicopter. Not he Thanos. Said, said. Yeah. And I forgot his name, but like. They keep on seeing like like stone cutouts of this one character. He's like a I don't know I don't forgot I forgot his name. 
Oh, well, there was there was um, uh, the Hornet. I think there was the Hornet, Red Hornet or whatever. That was uh, his mask was in that in that uh, that battlefield, pretty much what you could call it when they were walking through it in uh, episode five. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely something that's going on right now. I'm also like wondering where else we're going to be going to with this, because I think that this is going to set up the expanded universe perfectly. But now we have to figure out what what's going to go on in that mansion. So which which episode has stuck out to you so far? The fourth and fifth. Oh, the last two. Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of fun being in different, you know areas and seeing like that cataclysmic thing happen and then them being saved at the end of course i had it going i i i, I knew that they were going to end up being saved by the tva and you know what was crazy about the next episode is how like miss minutes was like under like she was scared too like i didn't i was like miss minutes is like sitting there like watching what's going on so i get that i get that but that's crazy there, there. I think in the fifth episode, Miss Minute, they were, um, her name was Raven Slayer. Raven Slayer. What? What? Ravona. Yeah, Ravona. Yeah, her. <laughs> she, um, Mrs. Minute. You know how it's taking her so long to say goodbye? So they're waiting. Yeah, for the TV yeah. They were setting them up. They were setting yeah. it, set, setting up, uh, Sylvie. So, I mean, Sylvie's definitely a great addition. I love what's going on right now. I don't know what's going to be in this this mansion, but I think definitely what's it's definitely going to be explained. And tomorrow we get the Bad Batch. That's going to be fun too. Where you know we haven't really did too much with the Bad Batch and stuff like that. But what else? What do you think you got to say about this? I mean, that's it. I mean, we've talked about Loki. We gave in our where I think it's go. I think Kang is going to be pretty much comatose in a bed in that mansion and that's where Ravona Ravens Slayer, whatever how you say the name it that's where she's going to be and that's who she's protecting and right now the the tempest you know is blocking Goliath from getting into that sanctuary that universe that Kang has so this is going to be very interesting but i don't think you know i don't we i don't think maybe we see Kang I think maybe they go in the house and then everybody kind of just drops their jaw and then that's it. That's it. That's how they hang that. That's how they hang that. And that's how they save Kang for the, for the movies and things like that. Okay. What's so that? the background of it, the white line is where like all the different, yeah. you know, like diamond people. Like, okay. Speak up. And then all the, like the colors are like all the multiverses. You know, the Miss universe. Yeah. 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 Cause it's just like a spectrum. And, um, Loki might go to back to his original. Yeah, that might be that might be crazy because, like they said, the other Loki, you know, when he said he was like, I forecasted my vision so that when I was killed, everybody thought I was killed, but I really wasn't killed. So that right there, he kind of gave it, and then he says that he's at the end of the timeline as well too. So he got around. He got he pretty much got bored. So that's kind of the intriguing thing about this series as well. Loki, the reason why he kept on, or like our Loki, the reason why he kept our on, Loki, yeah, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Not alligator Loki. Um, the original. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was gonna say no. <laughs> the original timeline. That's where they're gonna send him. She's trying to. She's trying uh, to. The get reason it. why he kept on like dying. He's, 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 he was actually faking his death. Of course. So his yeah. brother and everybody could like, be like, they, they actually cared. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like, yeah, of course. He always wanted to see the cares. But, hey, I think this is crazy. I think that, you know, we've said a lot of things. We did a little research. A, a lot of you can go do your own research as well, too. Is Kang going to be in the bed? Or is Kang behind it pulling all the strings? Do we see somebody else? Is Tony Stark in that bed? Who? Who is in the bed? Who is in the mansion? Why would you just have a mansion? Why not like a spaceship? Why just a home? A home? Okay. Okay. Um, huh? You know at the end of the Doctor Strange, I forgot his name. But you know what? What? The... Like the you know the cutscene of the, the, the death and stuff? 
Okay. You know that guy? Yeah. Um, Chinese dude. Yeah, it's someone thinks that he's like, like one person thinks that like he's controlling the TVA because he has a green hair. No, yeah, 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 maybe. maybe. Or, no, he fought. Or he it fought. could be, or it could this be, this is my next or Someone, yeah, or, or it could be another Loki, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's another Loki. Maybe it is that old Loki. That's what I, I heard a rumor that was the old Loki too. Guess what? We're going to figure it out all next week. So uh, we'll be back for our final thoughts of the whole series. I hope I didn't keep any of y'all too long. I just wanted to throw this out there. Mini override kind of, and her, her awesome Tessa Rack. Give her, give her a like, follow at the boat. You know, check her out too. You know, like, you know, she's got her own YouTube page. She does Fortnite edits. So it's kind of cool. So at Molly edits, it's on my uh, Legion of Pain. So you can get that. Show off your Tesseract. <laughs> and always remember to bring the pain. Ooh, yeah. Yo, everybody, it's your life. So let's get to it. Bring the pain. <laughs>